back. And you know what I've done here? I've taken my Asher LK1. Ta-da! Love this guitar. And uh, Danny has been so kind as to turn on the Tone Beast preamp, right? Yeah, I've got him. Got you running through the Tone Beast into the uh, WA76. And then straight to the machine. Right? Yeah, it's the I guitar. It's not the mic amp. It's just guitar direct. And then. And what are the settings on the Tone Beast right now? Um, I'm using the high Z, and I have the pad on minus 20. I have the output gain all the way up, and I have the input gain about 10 o'clock. So we could get. And I'm using the steel and uh, 731. Uh, circuit. Which in English does that mean more or less vintage on it? Yeah, he, uh, Bryce was saying that these two are more vintage and if you turn it to the right they're a little bit more modern, a little bit more cleaner. So we're more vintage right now. Correct. Okay, and I mean, listen to this guys. I'm almost thinking of like not having a clean guitar rig because there's much clean and slide as I'm playing and acoustic sounds. Listen to the sound. Freaking amazing. I it's love so it. It's so crystal clear. Yeah. Now, can we make it where it's got a little more hair on it, a little more gain? From yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, I so. did the opposite to start off. I was going clean. for as clean as possible. Right. The big thing that I noticed right away, I haven't used this unit very much, but I discovered instantly, this pad really, really helps if you want to go for the clean guitar DI. So I'm going to gain this back. Okay. I'm going to take that pad off. And now, this is an output attenuator. Okay. Basically, this isn't doing anything if it's cranked all the way up. It's almost like it's out of the circuit. It's almost right. like a master volume on a guitar amp, exactly. Okay. So I'm going to pull this back and let's gain you up. Okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> right in with a little compression there's nothing on it we'll, no take, we'll take the goodies off just so we're not we can show that it still sounds awesome yeah take even it without off the ear candy so there's a the little reverb gone <laughs> interested to see what that sounds like on like a bass guitar DI oh, yeah, to grit yeah, yeah. that up. I think that would be really nice. Make it growlier. Yeah. Will you, will you put that back cleaner? I like the clean vibe yeah. myself is what I my favorite. Put it back cleaner so everybody can hear it with no There's goodies. where it was. And then the compressor is the same. Maybe? They can, well, I have to double check the compressor and hit play a little bit. better clean too for this and then if I wanted to what I do sometimes guys if I'm running direct guitar it's kind of a cheaty thing I've done on some of the movie or soundtrack sort of movie or soundtrack you know whatever you know the stuff that's more movie soundtrack like that I've done is I'll do a, a setup like this and I'll actually run like a tube screamer or a fuzz in front of something like mm -hmm. that and then put reverb and delay on it it's an interesting sound so I'd start with this though I'd leave it dead clean like this
your low E string, it's still cleaner. I like that. I like that. Yeah, it's low low C at this point. Okay, right? low C. Yeah. Let's show more extreme compression on guitar. You have a way to. Sure, yeah. absolutely. Let's yeah. just dig in, play a little. I'll yeah. push it hard. songs based on the tone beast and that, that exactly kind of, yeah the you wouldn't songs. if you had a different tone you didn't have the compression and just that sound it would, you probably would play different chords and be inspired to play different music yeah I mean guys listen uh, one of the things that I'm really considering after hearing this today because honestly this is the first time we fired this stuff up in a proper studio it's just, you know warm audio to me was a great idea and I believe that Bryce had a cool product but now I'm a freaking believer to the point that you're going to hear this on all my guitars. I'm micing everything with this. I'm, my single path is always going to be microphone now to the Tone Beast, to the WA-76, to my DAW of choice. And we're going to roll that way from now on because this stuff, for I, I'm not even going to say for the price point, this stuff's just great. You know what I mean? And, and what I love is when you have a local company who's willing to like put together products for us that anybody can afford. I mean, most anybody that this recording can afford this. If you've got enough money to buy a Digi 003 and a computer, you have to go out and buy one of these pre's and one of these compressors because it's going to change your life. I'm sitting here right now writing the songs because of the sound I'm getting here. And I'm already kind of going, hmm, I use my Park 75 for my Gain Tones live for those of you who follow what I'm doing. You know, I've got that and maybe a Morris Mojo or something. I could start using this and the compressor and uh, a powered cabinet or to power up through a cabinet and use that for my clean sounds and my and my slide tones live. It's crazy good. Yeah, crazy I would good. I recommend the same thing for people as an engineer too. It's like if even if you just could afford one of these, it's going to do so much more for you. Um, and so many ways, if you're trying to mix or you're trying to record, then just using plugins or something like that, they don't yeah. sound like this. They, you can't get that kind of. You can run through a plugin and it'll compress, it'll do the job, it'll control right. the dynamics. But it's even not like just this. running through this, going through the, the transformers, running through a nice circuit like this, it actually takes your sound and makes it bigger. You know, it just it more important. It, make, it, it enhances the tone, and you know that's another thing you I probably should mention is that this thing is coloring the sound even if it's not compressing, just by running through this compressor as well. 1176 is, sometimes you can just run through them without even using the compression and just use it as a coloration box or like yeah. a line amp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to get the sound of those transformers on there. Well, you know, the great thing is, is we've seen what this does with a direct instrument. And you're right, Danny, I can't wait to hear what it does to a bass guitar. Oh my God, yeah. the Tone Beast, you could go nuts with it. And I'm going to have, at some point, we'll do a, a, another demo where we have uh, Mark Epstein, my bass player, actually evaluate this as a bass pre because I think it would be incredible for that. Yeah, there's well, so many different tone options you can do here. It works so good for bass with the saturation and then the different transformers and then it even has a button in here, the tone button, which changes some of the uh, capacitors. And right. Circuit. Well, you know what I think we should do now just for fun is I brought a couple of tracks over, guys. I brought a song that I, I recently did called The Truth and what we did is we pulled the vocal on one of the passes, which I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna go ahead and just put up a vocal mic and uh, see what kind of vocal tone we get on uh, on the truth with with the uh, signal path we've got here, and uh, then we may awesome. all, yeah, then we may also mic up a guitar amp and hear a guitar amplifier mic'd through this signal path 
uh, give us kind of all the options. And then you're going to hear, I guess, pretty much everything. We've heard drums, we've heard, you know, we're going to hear direct guitar, we're going to hear uh, vocal mic, mic guitar. Uh, you know, I think that uh, by the time we're finished with this demo, uh, unfortunately, Kurt and I are going to be in trouble because we're going to have to go buy some of this stuff. Yeah, I don't. I really. I don't think there's anything that 1176 doesn't sound good on. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. fun, right? I mean, there's other flavors of compressors. You can get an LA two A. You get a pull. You know, I'm They're an old Fairchild. Different. They're just oh, different tools. Yeah. It's a whole different thing. So, yeah. so give us a minute. And we're going to come back and uh, try a couple more things for you. And if you're not sold on warm audio by then, you're just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Come Some of the best studios in the world with some of the top producers in the world i've you know worked with andy johns for a lot of records and god rest his soul and look tone beast warm audio compressor great pieces i'm gonna have them at my studio kurt you're you're gonna have absolutely them. yeah yeah no you question like, well, let's just rack this right here there's a couple <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah so look you know we, we we tried this thing with some direct drums you know insert points we got Guitar direct, which I thought sounded amazing. That's we did a little awesome. vocal. I'm gonna go home and mic some of my favorite amp up, ramps up, and you know, Kurt's gonna be able to show some sound samples in there. So listen, go get yourself one. Get yourself a tone beast. Get yourself a warm audio compressor. You can't go wrong. The price point's unbelievable. And you know what, man? You don't have to spend a lot of money to have great tone. You got it right here. So I'm Lance Keltner from Keltner and Cole. That's Kurt behind the uh, the camera there. Hi. Hey. And I'm Danny here. Stapleton from 360mixing.com. Yeah. Call him up if you want something mixed. Say, I want something mixed. He'll mix it for you. He's good Absolutely. at that. Thank you. And he'll be up at Stubbs tonight doing some live sound. 
But by the time you see this, it's already happened. But he'll be there some other nights too. So if you recognize him, say, hi, Danny, I saw you on a video. Nice. Yeah. Don't All say right. Hi. All right, guys. Have a great day. Check out some of the sound samples and still photos. And uh, thanks for watching as always. Lance Kutner for Kutner and Cole. See ya. <laughs>